But progress has also rippled across the African continent. You know, from Senegal to Cote d'Ivoire to Malawi, democracy has weathered strong challenges. Many of the fastest growing economies in the world are here in Africa where there's a historic shift taking place from poverty to a growing nascent middle class. Fewer people are dying of preventable disease. More people have access to health care. More farmers are getting their products to market at fair prices. From microfinance projects in Kampala to stock traders in Lagos to cell phone entrepreneurs in Nairobi, there's an energy here that can't be denied. Africa rising. We know this progress, though, rests on a fragile foundation. We know that progress is uneven. Across Africa, the same institutions that should be the backbone of democracy can all too often be infected with the rot of corruption. The same technology that enables record profits sometimes means widening a canyon of inequality. The same interconnection that binds our fates makes all of Africa vulnerable to the undertow of conflict. So there's no question that Africa is on the move. But it's not moving fast enough for the child still languishing in poverty in forgotten townships. It's not moving fast enough for the protester who's beaten in Harare or the woman who's raped in eastern Congo. We've got more work to do because these Africans must not left, be left behind. And that's where all of you come in, the young people of Africa. Just like previous generations, you've got choices to make. You get to decide where the future lies. Think about it. Over 60 percent of Africans are under 35 years old. So demographics means young people are going to be determining the fate of this continent and this country. You've got time and numbers on your side, and you'll be making decisions long after Politicians like me have left the scene. And I can promise you this. The world will be watching what decisions you make. The world will be watching what you do. Because one of the wonderful things that's happening is where, where people used to only see suffering and conflict in Africa, suddenly now they're seeing opportunity for resources, for investment, for partnership, for influence. Governments and businesses from around the world are sizing up the continent, and they're making decisions themselves about where to invest their own time and their own energy. And as I said yesterday at a town hall meeting uh, up in Johannesburg, that, that's a good thing. We want all countries, China, India, Brazil, Turkey, Europe, America, we, we want everybody paying attention to what's going on here because it speaks to your progress. And I've traveled to Africa on this trip because my bet is on the young people who are the heartbeat of Africa's story. I'm betting on all of you. As President of the United States, I believe that my own nation will benefit enormously if you reach your full potential. 